We're going to continue looking at sound design in Thor, and today we're going to have a quick look at oscillator syncing. Now you'll see that I've already got some drums here. This is our tropical beat. And basically those drums are there because we're going to use oscillator syncing to create a really dirty Dutch lead. But I'm going to mute those for now. And over on my rack, I'm going to right click over here and create another mixer. Let's call this synth. And I'm going to right click and create a Thor. As usual, I'm going to put our sustain on our amp envelope right up to full. So what is oscillator syncing? Well, basically, if I have two analog oscillators like that, and I click this sync button, that means that every time oscillator one completes a cycle, it resets oscillator two's cycle. Now, don't worry if you don't understand that. All that basically means in practical terms is that it's the pitch of oscillator one that determines the pitch of the note, and the pitch of oscillator two merely determines the timbre. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to turn off os one up here because we just want to hear oscillator two. And if I play a note whilst changing the octave of oscillator one, you'll hear that even though it's only oscillator two that's rooted through, we can hear the pitch changing as we change the pitch of oscillator one. But when we change the pitch of oscillator two, it changes the timbre of the note. Now this is really cool, and it's especially cool if we use a mod envelope to control the pitch of oscillator 2. I'm going to put the amount up to almost 100, 94. And I'm going to put oscillator 2 an octave lower than oscillator 1. I'm going to change the mod envelope, I'm going to give it a little bit of attack, and I'm going to put the decay up quite a bit, and the release right down. I'm also going to bypass this filter, because we want a much brighter sound. Pretty cool, huh? And there's a lot of cool sounds you can make with this. Uh, I mean, one thing we could do is we could use the LFO to control the amplitude. And we could do kind of an alternative version of our Transformers sound that we made in part one of FM Synthesis. Today, we're going to use it for a Dutch lead, so I'm going to clear that automation. I'm going to turn on the delay, and I'm going to tempo sync the delay, change the timing to 3 and 16, and turn the dry wet down quite a bit. I'm going to change the range to 12 on the pitch wheel, just so that we've got an octave either way. I'm also going to right click and create an RV7 digital reverb. I'm going to put the dry wet very low, and we're going to automate that. So I'm just going to program some notes. So I've programmed my little lead part. It's very, very simple. It's all just one note. I'm going to copy and paste that in my little breakdown section here. I'm going to automate the pitch bend. I'm going to right click that and say edit automation. And we're going to go right from the bottom to the top. And then I'm going to copy and paste this. But then I'm going to hit F8 
to get out our tool window and I'm going to transpose this pitch up 12 semitones. So select the bars I want, click apply, program another pitch slide. And copy and paste this. And as I said, I'm also going to automate dry wet on our reverb. So we've created a simple Dutch lead synth in a very short space of time, but I think it's pretty effective. Let's have a listen. Oh, and let's unmute the drums. Okay, so we've learned how to make a dirty Dutch lead with oscillator syncing. And don't forget, those drums are from parts three and four of my series on powerful drums in Reason. So check that out if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much.